In this video, I will show you how to type pinyin with toe marks on Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS. In that order, all the timestamps will be to my left and in the description box down below. Before we get started, I do want to remind you once again that to get U with an umlaut, you type the letter V on the QWERTY keyboard. So if you want to type NU, you would type NV. With that out of the way, let's begin. If you're on Windows 10 or 11, unfortunately, Microsoft does not support typing pinyin tones natively, so you do have to download a third-party app. So what you can do is go on any browser and look up pinyin tones. It's the first result that comes up, pinyintones.com. And this is the software we're gonna download. You wanna scroll down, and depending on your system, either download the 64-bit version or the 32-bit version. I think most computers now are 64-bit, so this particular computer I know is. So that's the one we're gonna download, close the ad. And you'll see it downloading here on the bottom left. Once that's downloaded, go ahead and click Open. Agree to the terms and conditions, install. Now if you go to the bottom right part of your screen and click on the English button here, you should see Japanese pinyin tones listed as one of your keyboards. If you select that, then you should be able to type in pinyin tones. So now with this keyboard, you can type just like you would in English, but if you want the tone markers, you just click the number of the tone after the letter. So if I want the first tone, I type one after A. If I want the second tone, I type A2. If I want the third tone, A3. Fourth tone is A4. On macOS, you just have to add a slightly different keyboard to type in pinyin. So we're gonna to go to the top left and click on the Apple icon and go down to System Preferences. From here, click on Language and Region, and on the bottom, Keyboard Preferences. So you'll see that we already have the US English keyboard as well as a Pinyin Simplified Chinese keyboard. And you click on the plus button to add a new keyboard, and the keyboard you'll need is the ABC Extended Keyboard. So this keyboard will type just like a regular English keyboard, but it also adds special symbols, including the ones you need to type tone marks. Once you have that added, you can either click this flag icon on the top to switch between your keyboards, or you can use the shortcut caps lock to toggle between them. Just make sure you have this setting selected. Now with the ABC extended keyboard, you can either just type normally in English, or you can add the tone markers with a few shortcuts. The shortcuts are option A to get the first tone, option E to get the second tone, option V to get the third tone, and option grave mark to get the fourth tone. And that's just the key to the left of your one key. And to get your tone marks over vowels, just type the vowels after the tone marks. So option A, A gets you A with the first tone. Option E, A gets A with the second tone. Option V, A gets A with the third tone. And option grave mark, A gets A with the fourth tone. On Android, it doesn't matter which version you're running as long as you're using the default, which is Google Gboard. The first thing you need to do is to add the pinyin keyboard and a quick reminder on how to do that, go to settings, languages, and then from here, add a keyboard and you're looking for Chinese and you can add it that way. Now, once you have the Chinese keyboard, all you have to do to get the pinyin tone marks is to do a long press. So if you do a long press over vowel like A, you'll see that the first tone, second tone, third tone, fourth tone, they all pop up and that allows you to type with tones. The problem with this keyboard is it does not allow you to type consonants and vowels on the same keyboard. So it's actually really tedious to do it on Gboard, unfortunately. And what you have to do is you have to type in English first to get like the consonant. And then if you need the vowel with a tone mark, you need to swap to the Chinese keyboard and then get your tone and then go back to English to get the consonant, back to Chinese to get the tone. It's not a great system, so I wouldn't recommend doing this all the time. On iOS, as long as you have the Chinese pinyin keyboard installed, you can type pinyin tone marks. So quick reminder, to install a new keyboard, you want to be in settings, go to general, keyboard, and then tap on the keyboards on top, add new keyboard. So as long as you have Chinese simplified and the QWERTY, you'll be able to do this. As you can see, we are currently on the Chinese pinyin keyboard. Now to type pinyin with tone marks, all you have to do is type your consonants normally, and when you get to a vowel, press and hold on that vowel key, and you will see your tone marks pop up, and just release on the one that you want to select. Now the problem is, when you get to a pinyin where you just want to type two letters without any tone marks, you do have to toggle back to your English keyboard for it to set. Otherwise, it will give you a Chinese character. And then if you want to go back to typing pinyin, 
toggle back to your ping keyboard. Again, press that globe button to toggle. And now we can type with tones again and toggle back to English to type without tone marks.